So day two of owning the golf cart here, already gonna start messing with it. Alex came by, check out the new project. He's ready to uh, start messing around with stuff. So back applied up, spun the golf cart around, all without opening up the garage door so we can keep the heat in here a little bit. But uh, already got started on a few little things. Ended up uh, using some of this waterless car wash. This stuff works pretty good. I just work, use it for like cleaning the car and helping get some of the gunk off without having to like running through a bunch of stuff. Um, just sprayed some of it just to see what it would do because it's kind of just like a soapy cleaner. And uh, before, after. So quite a difference in just cleaning the seat up. Going to uh, get the shop back out, start cleaning up all this crap, um, and then open this up, clean out some of that, and then try to look at the oil, at least get it changed, get fresh oil in it before I start turning it over. Um, I believe from watching some videos, except for I can't see it right now, that the oil, it should be like right there, but that might be on a different style of engine. So I'm gonna have to do some research. I'm gonna have to use the good old Google to uh, figure it out and see how to do a little oil change on this. Maybe put a spark plug in it and then get some uh, fuel and mix it with some oil. And then maybe we can at least try to turn it over and see if this thing will even run. Jack Stan Mafia. Oh yeah. Not bad. So Got it up in there now a little bit so we can work on it. All right, so we jumped up and I was like, hey, why don't we see what where the dipstick goes and see if there's any oil even in it. Alex was like, you know what? It's two-stroke. It might not have any oil. I'm like, oh, I should still have some in the crankcase. I don't know anything about two-stroke. So, uh, yeah, no oil in the crankcase. Oil only comes from uh, the oil tank. So the fuel tank mixes with the weight. There's no oil tank. So I just was looking up. It looks like people can delete it because the oil would usually come over and then inject into here. That's been plugged and everything so it must not have the uh, oil injection because a lot of people would delete that little deal and then just mix it one ounce to uh, one gallon I guess some are saying one and a half once you do this delete or whatever so gonna hook up the battery give it a go just make sure the engine like turns over once or twice that it does have electrical and then we might run and grab some fuel um, and maybe a spark plug and then see if the that might have it might have always been on it's hard to say yeah. Oh, <laughs> you want to turn the battery on? Oh. Spin that little. Yeah, there we go. We'll give it a second. So I'm sure that battery is completely toast. Yeah. So give it just a second, and uh, then we can try it. I ain't got nothing. So uh, I have to mess with it, and it might need a charge up, or maybe we got to completely unhook that little battery. Um, who knows? Maybe I gotta play mess with the key. It's hard to say. So we'll uh, we'll play with a few things and see if we can get this thing to turn over. So the key is actually backwards. It won't pull out right there. So let's. I can feel. I can hear something clicking, but I don't hear the motor doing anything. So. Um, on to the next thing. All right. So Alex was just messing with it. Went in reverse, and. If you go in reverse, I guess. There it goes. So it does turn over. So probably need to get some oil and fuel in this thing ASAP. So then we're not it running the engine dry. Uh, this is the little fuel pump, so hopefully it works. But I guess that's just part of trying it and seeing what happens. Quick trip to Walmart. Got us a battery. All right, so quick tune-up. Went and got some fuel, some two-cycle oil. And uh, that's the old battery. The guy must have put it in there. He said he was trying to maybe do something with it, but that looks seems to be a six volt battery. So I went and got a 12 volt that they recommend for these things um, and a new spark plug. So gonna go ahead and throw these in. Uh, this is an 86 golf cart, NGK7534 in case somebody else is using it. And then the Google showed that uh, U1-7 from Walmart battery. Uh, this is like a like 25 well it's like 30 bucks without a core so i guess if i would have taken that back i could probably save a few bucks but gonna go ahead and get it thrown in here just trying to clean it up a little bit and then see what it'll do all right so new batteries in we just went ahead and pulled the uh, little intake off the filter in case there's any junk in there two gallons of mixed fuel in here and uh hope for the best i guess
Sounds like it's got a little compression. Hold on. Forgetting one important aspect. Well, maybe I don't feel like the choke works. Let's see if it even. So I pulled it a little bit, but it's this one right here. There it goes. Is that all the way out? Uh, or it it's out a ways? It's out about an inch. Yeah, that's it. Okay, let's see here. It's got to suck fuel all the way around, so we'll see what it, it might take it a little bit. That's not saying that maybe one of the lines isn't nasty or something. But the choke open, it should be helping pull, pull some fuel through. I went ahead and just threw just a little bit of oil in there, just in case, just to help get some oil down in there. Right here, so... Those like the I think it's all the way. It's gonna take it a while to draw the fuel through there, I'm sure. It's all good. We got we got a jumper. Yeah, I'm with you. Um so I mean we could even put spray a little bit of fuel in there just to try to get it to take. Might help it uh, draw some fuel through there. Yeah, that choke ain't really doing nothing honestly i mean it pulled it but it would never push it back close yeah the way it's set up let's see if it helped i need some good old um uh, ether that might be terrible for a golf cart but <laughs> I guess it'd be nice. I guess we could always pull that little line off too and see if it's even got fuel over yeah, well, I mean, to there yet. So like with most old vehicles, we're having an issue getting the fuel into the carb. Um, but if I take this little delete thing off where they deleted the oil out of it and I pour a little bit of fuel in it, if Alex wants to go ahead and hit it, um, it actually, it'll run just for a few seconds. We'll just keep it lit until I guess uh, it runs out of fuel. I can't tell if it's still running right there or if it's... It's dying out. As soon as you do that, it kind of takes off. But, and that's it. So it's just got a little bit in the motor, but... So we just got to make, more or less figure out... Um, how to get fuel over there from the fuel tank to the carb. And who knows, maybe there's a small blockage in the carb or something, it's hard to say. Good news, bad news. Good news is we got some fresh line here. We checked um, if we feed fuel in here and let it sit for just like putting a syringe of fuel in there, it will push it through the pump. It pushes it up to here, um, replace this line. And then if I take a little syringe of fuel and squeeze it in the carb, it'll fire off and run. So it's just not getting fuel from the feed through the carb into the engine, uh, which makes sense. I mean, it's probably sat for a long time. So we're going to pull the carb apart and see if we can just do a little quick clean on it and see what it'll do. So we got the carb kind of pulled apart. Alex is working on it. So you can see a bunch of crap there. It's pretty dirty. And the, the fuel that was in it smells horrendous. So we're going to uh, just try to get it, do a quick in the garage clean out and see what we can get it to do so two of the pieces we know that were clogged is this little jet here in the bottom that screws into the here and then this little uh, diaphragm deal that works off the float uh, was stuck too so we went ahead and cleaned both of those up both of them had gunk stuck in them so hopefully uh, this will help it pull the fuel through well it's almost midnight I'm gonna call it here um, Ended up taking the carb off, cleaning it some, but uh, it seems like we can't get the fuel to siphon over into it, even though it looks like if we put fuel in the line, the fuel pump will pump fuel, um, but it's like it almost won't draw it out of the pump, um, and then since we cleaned the carb and stuff, I don't know about it filling the bowl back up and how long that's going to take or whatever, um, but if it's not pulling fuel, it's not going to fill the bowl up, but... Otherwise, when we screwed a little bit of fuel into the carb, it seems to run okay. So it's just about getting the uh, getting it there. I looked on eBay; they have like I think some cheap carbs on there for like 18 bucks or something. Um, whole new fuel pumps like 30, so relatively cheap parts. So uh, yeah, I'll, I'll give it some thought, figure out what I want to do, and uh, 
go from there. So fast forward a few days, got a new fuel pump in, so we're gonna go ahead and get it installed on the golf cart and see if this helps it run. I also got some seal all going to, uh, this thing's loose and comes out of there, so add some seal all to help seal this up and then reconnect all that. Uh, so then we know we're not losing like uh, suction through here. And then get the new pump on, should just be two bolts, clean it up a little bit, stick the new one on, and uh, we'll see what happens. After a little bit of messing with it, uh, the new fuel pump doesn't seem to want to like suck the fuel out of the uh, fuel tank. So we went in there just past where it enters into the carb. This is the little float that controls whether or not it gets extra fuel into the carb or not. Um, and it had a bunch of gunk still on it. We kind of cleaned it last time, but apparently not good enough. So uh, pulled it apart and now we're going to uh, go ahead and put it back together. And hopefully this will allow fuel into the bowl and then it'll start. All right, so we ended up just squirting some fuel in the carb. Um, to get it to hopefully suck through and now I think we got a running golf cart the uh, the motor mounts completely shot right here, but uh, If we can at least drive it around then I can move on to fixing some other things, but we're gonna uh, clean out the air filter Rehook up the choke All right, here we go Clyde's out there hasn't ran a little bit so letting it warm up and uh, There it is Old golf cart, so I think we got it to where it should run. We're gonna check now. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> All right, Let's see if reverse works. So we have a golf cart. Yeah, it's and as reverse, oh, it's a little aggressive in reverse, but. So now we need filter belt. Filter belt, some air in the tires because I can already tell this one's low already. But mm hop -hmm. on, let's go rip this thing. Let's see if it'll carry 500 pounds. And get our headlight on here. <laughs> Uh, see. You can be the headlight. At least so you can see something out here. This thing rips, man. Oh, yeah, no problem. Gotta watch out for the potholes over here. Yeah. That's full throttle, full tilt right there. I know you guys can't see anything. Oh, shit. <laughs> Not bad. Dual flashlight, here we go. No problem. See if I can kick Alex out of this thing. Whoa. Oh, shoot. Oh, backfire. Damn neighbors out here driving golf carts up and down the street. This thing is ripping. Oh, yeah. Dude. This thing is sweet. There it is. First successful drive in this thing. So, uh, still needs some stuff. I just about broke the seat right there getting off of it. But not bad. Not bad at all. Probably going to add some air in it. Maybe, uh, maybe drive it a little bit more. I don't know. April's all bundled up. Ready to go for the first ride in the golf cart. And see, uh, sure how it does. I ended up tightening up the carbs, so hopefully it won't backfire now. <laughs> All right. Oh, we don't have our headlight. Turn your flashlight on your phone, huh? Get some flash. Get some headlight going here. All right, then got something. Oh, it's not warm by any means. Oh yeah. No problem. <laughs> thing rips. It backfires every once in a while too. I don't know why, but. 
Well, there it is. Golf cart's uh, running. I think it needs an air filter on it because um, it kind of coughs, and I'm pretty sure that's because there's no air filter. So once I put an air filter or put the little intake back on it or whatever, I don't think it'll cough, but I guess that's to see. Thanks to Alex for helping me on yet another project. Pretty easy one. Still got some stuff to do. Fix the flat tire, air filter, fix the motor mounts and stuff like that, but otherwise I got a, I got a freaking golf cart. So uh, thanks everybody for watching. If you would, please hit that like, subscribe, and share button, and we'll see you in the next video.